Hi, I'm Jason Franey, and I come from Canlis Restaurant in Seattle. I was born in Texas. I moved to uh, West Palm Beach when I was seven. I grew up on the beach. I surfed. I mean, I love the weather, but it's kind of, it's kind of like Groundhog's Day in a way. It's always the same every day, over and over and over again. Comfort geek is a term that we coined at Canlis because of the diversity of guests. We figured out a, a way to have it comfortable for the 40 anniversary guests, but still kind of geeked out in technique and for the, for the foodie. We're trying to make it into a food destination um, uh, and be also on the cutting edge. One Canopy is a parsnip and pear custard that we formed into a block and we're going to cut rectangles out of. On top is a little bit of pear gelée. It sits atop uh, a candy cap sublet, and then we're going to finish it with pickled onions and a little bit of dill. A leek and baked potato panna cotta with an oyster and champagne gelée with a little bit of champagne espuma. And a light aerated foam that comes out of an ISI canister. It looks like shaving cream. <laughs> it's nice. Crab apple with black truffles. There's a celery root and apple milk that's going to go on the bottom, but it's pretty acidic. You would think that would be creamy and rich, but we, we add a lot of lime juice to, to cut the uh, to cut the richness of it. I'm going to finish it with an apple veil and a little bit of shaved black truffles on top. I love sturgeon. It's a great fish. It's fatty, so it takes the smoke really really well, and it's actually a really meaty fish. And it's almost like chicken in a way, so it's great for the cold weather. So we've cured it, and then we've cold smoked it, and then we're gonna finish it with a dry pork dashi. It's basically pork skin that we fried and made into a crumble, and then we add bonito and nori to get the, uh, the dashi flavor. And then a matsutake consomme and shaved matsutake on top. Dessert, we're gonna do a white chocolate croquant. Inside is a coconut powder that we've made with maltodextrin, and then passion fruit sorbet, and then we're gonna finish it with a little bit of olive oil and espalette gel. I moved to San Francisco in 2002, and I worked at the time at Campton Place. Costa joined about 2004 to 2006, so I've known Costa for about seven years now. I always knew that he was going to be successful, but he's still Costa, you know what I mean? He's still the same guy that I used to know back then. We're just a little bit older now. I wanted to do something that would definitely go with a strong red wine, so venison and beets to me sound like they sound really good together. You know, I, it's, it's fun for me to cook to Chris, but I mean, I, I hope they enjoy it. I hope they come here, get together, have great wine, have good conversation, be relational, and just, and I just want to enhance that, that dinner. And hopefully it goes well. I think it will. <laughs>